just finished testing the Stingray 191. Now this is our new economy deck boat. Gets you out on the water uh, very affordably. It's powered by a Mercury 90, which is plenty to push this boat. We got a plane in 3.2 seconds. We got a time to 30 miles an hour of 5.8 seconds with a top speed of 43.7 miles an hour. Now what was kind of interesting is when you took off, very little bow rise and you can almost keep it going at any speed. We could actually keep it on plane at 14 and a half miles an hour. So if you got real small kids towing tubes, this would be an ideal boat for that. And plenty of seating in this boat too. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features of this boat. Turns really well. Nice little ski package. Well, Jay, uh, one thing I noticed as soon as I saw this boat, it has black vinyl, and I, I tell you what, I've I've had a few bad experiences where uh, in, I live in Florida, and uh, you can almost smell the sizzle of flesh. Uh, and it was a, really hot earlier today, and I noticed this upholstery was not hot. What's the deal? Okay, this is our new Onyx vinyl that's here, and it's cool touch. It's five degrees, only five degrees warmer than the white vinyl, and also it will n never get more than 30 degrees warmer than the outside temperature. It is a common thing to get burnt by uh, dark upholstery, but this you don't have an issue with it. That's really cool. What about the staining and stuff? Is it pretty stainless? Yeah, design? actually, all the vinyls on Stingrays, we have nanoblock technology. And the nanoblock technology, grease, suntan lotion, or even mildew will not even stick to it. And you know how sometimes you even get leaves that are in there that will stain it? will wipe right off so it's easy to maintain and take care of. Pretty much kid proof then is what you're saying. Kid proof, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. What else do we have going on here? Well basically as you can see the size of this bow is huge. It's immense. There's a lot of room for everybody and you can lounge out. But right here we have a built-in um, cooler up in the bow. This is also designed so you can have an optional fishing package on there so you can mount a pedal seat up here, trolling motor, and so it makes a great fishing boat as well. Well, I'm blown away. This is like a 19-footer. Right. Normally, you pay the price somewhere, and normally it's up front. And uh, we're definitely not paying any price other than it's really comfortable. You're exactly right. Well, Jay, this is kind of neat how you can swivel these seats around. Uh, I like this. Yeah, this is great. It's amazing the space you have on this boat. It's a 19-footer that doesn't know it's a 19-footer. It feels more like a 20 or 21-foot boat on the interior of this space, on the interior of this boat. Of course, the advantage of it being an outboard, you have much more space on it. But also, Stingray did a great job of the L design here, so you have a lot more seating. And also, a lot of people like to do just an evening cruise where everybody can sit around here and communicate. Other nice features, of course, the fiberglass floor. This seat does swivel around, so if you're water skiing, you can observe the water skiers and everything. Easy entry into the interior. You have a step through right there and you can step right down into nice. the interior. This windshield looks a little different. Yeah, we went with um, a newer style windshield and we did that to give you a lot more space. Uh, a lot of the uh, radius windshields would really cut off a lot of space here and we wouldn't have the room. Notice the height too, it's much higher so if you are you know, running down the lake and everything, you're looking through the windshield instead of over it. Yeah, it's nice one, it's really cool too. Right. Now, what do we have here? Okay, right here we have a ski wakeboard locker. It's easy to open and a great place for water skis, tubes, and all types of other items. No, the the <laughs> yeah. thing I really like it is a friction hinge. Right. So it doesn't slam, you can just kind of hold it up and it kind of stays open. Right. Without a ram, that's, that's pretty slick. That is. I like that. Well, Jay, this is a pretty stylish little uh, helm we have here. It sure is. There's a lot of nice features to it. This has a Bluetooth stereo to it. So it's really nice where you can have your phone, your iPhone, or hooked up to it. Um, it's a great feature right here. Plus, it's a nice 
open dash where if you wanted to put a small GPS you could fit a small GPS right, right here. Another feature that this has is a lot of these boats don't have room for your feet. Right. This does have a pocket in here so you can you know rest your seat under the console they get more comfortable. Also it has a nice steering wheel in a great location and again notice how I'm looking through the windshield and you're, not in You're a pretty tall guy too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it really works out well. Nice. Yeah. Well, Jay, you know, one of the problems with one of the advantages of stern drives is usually have a gigantic swim platform back here. That's kind of a, a downside of a outboard, but you guys have kind of solved the uh, swim pad, uh, swim platform problem here. We sure have. Alan, it's really uh, nice, the design of this. Of course, the easiest way to board a boat is from the dock to the swim platform. Here you can board on either side. You can even step across here or in water skiing or water activities, you have plenty of room to get your water skis on or whatever you need to do, or just hang out in the back. Actually, it's designed where you can sit here and even lounge in the back uh, of the boat as well. It's like a little backrest here. Yep. Now, you know, one thing I noticed, it got kind of rough out of here on Lake Robinson, and uh, I noticed this boat handled the conditions pretty well. Kind of on deck, by, and on kind of on deck boat like. Uh, right. Some of them ride pretty rough, but not this one. What well, do we have? Well, this is a V hull. It has a 20 degree dead rise. What that means, it's much deeper. Right. But we've designed it so it has a hard shine, sharp entry in there, so it gives you the best of both all worlds. One, you're going to get the handling. Instead of running flat through a turn, it's going to bank in the turn. It's going to not have the choppiness hitting waves. Right. Um, and also, it's going to be very stable in the water. Another characteristic is this boat does not rise in the bow. Yeah, it takes off flat, so you don't lose sight of the horizon, which is a great advantage to have on this boat. Definitely. For more information on the Stingray 191 DC and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water.